Okay. Yeah. First, hey. uh, th thanks, <laughs> th thanks for your time. Um, I, I really enjoyed the movie. I was saying that we always talk about the fog of war, how we how we look at war after it's happened. Um, and now, you know, this, this this in this movie, we're looking at a kind of like a war in the future, how we can prevent it. I, I was just asking, how was it to play in this action flick with such a great cast? Oh. Man, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a dream come true. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, it's a dream come true. I don't even know what else to say. Besides, what were you gonna say, Jeff? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't have manifested this better, even if I like tried. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the beautiful thing about it is everyone is so unique and different in this cast and they bring something so different to every character, but it makes you care about each character and you find, you know, there's something for everybody in each character um, to grasp onto and to care about. And in terms of like playing Lieutenant Hart, Man, I loved it so much because you have this black woman who was unapologetic, standing firmly in her power, but you know also feels very deeply and and is vulnerable at times. Um, so to give her full permission and full range was an honor to do that. Well, you you guys are a part of like this uh, new generation, this new crop of actors, and y'all are experiencing like all these different type of stories that are happening on streaming. And I want to know, like, how does it feel to, to be here where we're, it seems like we're telling more stories than, than in the past. Like if we get, you know, so many movies every year in the past and now we're streaming and everything else, it seems like we're getting such a different diversity of stories and storytellers and characters. I mean, do you guys feel like it's a, a, a golden age of, of filmmaking? Yeah, I think before, you know, the selfish side of me, I feel like we all have our little selfish moments. I was like, it's it's like saturating the market. Like, like everything is so saturated. I didn't like it at first. And well, it wasn't that I didn't like it, but I was just questioning it. And now it's like, man, it's just opportunity for so many different people and so many different people to get their story told. And I was like, yeah, this is beautiful. This is the golden age. Like, this is what we want. We want stories for everybody. And I feel like that's where we're getting now. And we got a long way to go before we tell, you know, even more stories. And, um, <clears throat> but we're doing, you know, we're seeing it switch. It's dope to be a part of this time to see it happen. And, you know, being an up, up and coming black um, actor is just dope to see all these other young up and comers and we like doing it together and your peers it's fun it's cool yeah, yeah. I mean I, I I couldn't agree more with that and I just also want to add though that I'm grateful to be able to do my part in this to be able to reach back and pull somebody else up you know that will yeah. get their story told and uh so that's exciting as well to be a part of this like lineage of getting people through the door yeah, yeah. well Chris Pratt's known for uh, saving the world in so many movies, but a lot of people love him uh, as his character in Guard Guardians of the Galaxy and playing a superhero. A superhero movie, something that we might see for you guys in the future, Marvel or DC characters. Uh, is it something that we could see you? And I mean, I handled yourselves well in this. Yep. Man, I, say, yep. Yeah, I hope so. I would, <laughs> yep. I would love to do a superhero movie, put my like, you know, martial arts background to some use because haven't been able to use that thing. Um, but yeah, I would love that. Women standing on the pitch. You're tapped in. Good copy. It's okay. We are you. 30 years in the future. It's okay, sweetie. We are fighting a war. Our enemy is not human. And we are losing. In 11 months time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the earth. Unless you help us. Yeah. All right, so, and, and tomorrow's what we're preventing future war what, what else do you think that if we could do right now as a society all the stuff we talk about if we could prevent something in the future that we could foresee happening like another police killer or anything else like that i mean what what do you think is something that would be worthy of like trying to go to the future to prevent from happening um 
<laughs> just man ending racism early you know what i'm saying like really digging deep into ending racism as a whole i know um you know it sounds like a it sounds like an idea that's so far away but i don't know man i think it could definitely be taught in school systems the right way and really like get into like dismantling that in, in, in as a whole like that's what i think would be I mean, a dream to see in the future. I guess why that's why I always want to see what would happen in the next 400 years, because I want to see what would happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With every, everything being so exposed and the information is there. And, you know, now, even with TV and film, the real stories are getting told, you know, not the, you know, the surface level stuff we was learning in public school, to be real, but like the real stories. And I think, you know, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, there's so many things that I would love to um, shift and eradicate. Um, but I think uh, if we don't take better care of the planet, then we won't yeah. be able to to help solve any of these, you know, uh, other issues, racism, classism, the haves and the have not. So I think yeah. um, the environmental impact that we as humans have has to radically change. And that's something I would like warn about in the future maybe even something as simple as like doing away with plastic and seeing how mm. that shifts us it's small things that everybody can do and and that's the beauty of this film you know everybody they're everyday people making a difference and helping to save the world and that's something that we can take away and utilize now that's that's crazy because that's literally our tomorrow war in real life is yeah. taking care of the environment that's Facts. crazy yeah yeah <laughs> Well, I uh, love you guys. This movie can't wait to see all the other characters you guys were playing going forward. Uh, thanks for your time. Talk Thank to you so you much. Guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you, Drake. Awesome.